Hi, I'm Frank. I work for DMC, and I'm here to tell you how to make Profibus connections using the Siemens USB A2 adapter. Are you unable to download or upload to your PLC using your adapter? Did you already check that you're plugged in and everything's on? Well, first step is to grab your hammer and put it away because we're going to the computer. First step is to go to step 7 and make sure your PGPC interface is set to the USB adapter. If you don't have it on the list and you've never installed the USB adapter's driver, you'll need to do that. Go to your favorite search engine, search for the USB A2 driver. Uh, here I am in a forum post. Just download the driver software. You'll need to log in to Siemens to do so. After you've done that, it will download. And after the download is complete, you'll install the software. Once the software is installed, or rather the driver, you need to restart your computer. Once you've finished restarting your computer, make sure the USB device is plugged into your system. And if you're using a VM, pass that USB device through. If it doesn't pass through, unplug, restart, and check the internet for help on your virtual machine. After getting our PGPC interface to the USB A2 device, I'm using Profibus here. Open your hardware configuration to confirm you have Profibus or MPI selected as a network. I do have a Profibus network, so I should be good. You can also open up NetPro, and it shows here that I do have a Profibus network with a PLC address of 2 that I'm trying to connect to. So now when I try to download to the PLC, I should have it show up. And also when I'm downloading, you'll see that the activity light flashes on the USB A2 adapter. Most of you should be in good shape by now, but there are a few more things to check out for anyone still having problems. Check that your device manager has the correct up-to-date driver and you don't have any missing devices. We can see that my computer has recognized the adapter, but if you had an unknown device or something missing, you'd have to uninstall and reinstall the driver. Now, if you don't have a driver problem and everything seems to work well and you think it's something on the hardware side, or more specifically, you don't have a spot to plug in, you have to go with a hardware solution. No, not that kind of hardware solution. Uh, if you need to plug in and see the PLC and Ramon at the same time, you can get a piggyback style connector for your PLC and plug into the back of that. Or if you find a spot further down the network where you can plug into a piggyback style connector, that works just as well. Sometimes you don't have the Siemens provided cable though, although you should try to use it, things get lost or just get flung off the table, and you just gotta use the Profibus cable. If you're using this Profibus cable, make sure that the terminating resistor is on at the start and end of a network. So here, we're just gonna make sure it's on when we're starting. And other things to check, the incoming Profibus wire should be going into the in arrow side. You should only be having another cable coming out if it's going to another device downstream. Make sure the colors on the inside are good. If they're not, you can unscrew it and correct the wires in the colored slots. Just make sure that the shielding is touching the metal backing. And if you do have to swap the wires after putting them in, make sure you don't inadvertently uh, move that terminating resistor. Uh, you can close it and screw it back up when you're done. But if this is good and you still have communication problems on the cable, there's a chance that one of the pins is bent. So just give it a visual inspection, and if one of the pins is bent, you can bend it back at your own kind of risk right there, or just go with a new cable or connector. If you still can't connect to the PLC through Profibus at this point, and you've also tried the MPI connection if it's supported, and you're not allowed or can't use Profinet, uh, grab your hammer and just give it as a gift to another programmer and ask them for advice on uh, what to do here or chat in the comments below for solutions with everyone else. Thanks for watching and comment below for videos you'd like us to make in the future. Thanks!